Welcome back. Now, you only have a handful of opportunities to catch Arizona Theatre Company's production of award-winning play The River Bride here in Tucson. And here to tell you why you should are two of the actors, Leandro Cano and Sarita Ocon. Thank you both so much for joining Thanks us. For Thank you for having us. Such a pleasure. Such great work that you guys do. And Arizona Theatre Company always attracts such great actors. And this is actually both of your, your debut at the theater. And we'll talk about that in a second. But, Leandro, let's talk about The River Bride and what it's really about. Oh, it's a, a wonderful story based in a Brazilian folklore. It's uh, about a family in Brazil living on the Amazon River who uh, stumble upon a mysterious stranger. They pull out of the river who ends up changing all of their lives forevermore. Wow. It's a story about love. It's a story about loss. It's a story about uh, having the courage to, uh, to love. Right, and it takes you know strong actors to be able to play these characters. So tell us a little about uh, your character, Sarita, starting with you. Well, I play one of the sisters, Elena, and uh, she is she's kind of struggling. She's going through a journey of both the heartache, mm -hmm. loss, and she's grappling with doubt and fear as how to go about being courageous when it comes to kind of connection, love, mm -hmm. uh, and taking a leap of faith when it comes to making big risks mm -hmm. in life. And so she's, she struggles with that over the course of the play. Wow, so many levels that you have mm -hmm. to you know, portray and get out there and be able to, to let people sort of see a window into how she's feeling. Yes. Uh, Lando, tell us about your character. I play the uh, uh, father, I play Sarita's father, mm -hmm. uh, Senor Costa. And <clears throat> I've been so lucky to play this this role because normally I'd play a lot of um, villains or bad guys or thugs, but this man is so in love with life. Mm -hmm. He loves everyone. He loves his family. He feels blessed every day, and it's wonderful to walk around and with, you know, in his shoes and that coat all day long. Um, so he's a really joyous person who's mm -hmm. been blessed with a wonderful life. Kind of a Tevye feel, maybe? Kind of a tevye. You know, that's what I'm getting, <laughs> just talking to you. I'm yeah. like, maybe you played Tevye at one point. Mm -hmm. I think feel like Soon, that'd, be a good, hopefully. that'd be a good role. And you know, to your guys' credit, it's gotten some incredible reviews. You know, everyone's raving about it. Mm -hmm. So what do you think makes this so compelling to watch? Well, I think there's just a, it's a universal story about love and loss. Mm -hmm. It's a new play, but the themes, I think, resonate with so many individuals. Mm -hmm. It's part of our human experience, and I think as actors, we are given the gift to tell a story, be that vessel to hold those stories, mm -hmm. and allow for that connectivity with audiences. And then that then inspires tremendous dialogue with, uh, between students and teachers, mm -hmm. families and loved ones. Right. And it, you know, it takes uh, tremendous communication between the cast and the director. Mm -hmm. You have to have a strong leader as a director. So yeah. tell us about the director and what it's been like to work with him. Oh, we were blessed to have Kinan Valdez from uh, Chicano Theater Royalty mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. to come by and, 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 and guide us through this, this wonderful story. Um, I've worked with Kinan before in San Diego uh, as actors and uh, was lucky enough to come back. Uh, having him direct us, and he's, he brings such heart and, and soul and, and just joy to every rehearsal. We're singing in every rehearsal. It's not a musical, but we're singing and <laughs> yeah. show tunes and some fiddler, everything. There you go. Been <laughs> it's a really wonderful time. It's a great, strong vision we've been able to, mm -hmm. to kind of uh, a really play with and enjoy. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And in conjunction, of course, with the playwright, I mean, you have to have a strong person writing the story. Mm -hmm. So what's it been like? I mean, she's up and coming, you know, as a playwright. Tell us what that's been like. Yes, Marisela Trevino Orta is a fantastic playwright. She's currently right now at the Iowa Playwrights Workshop. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was very fascinated by taking on the genre of fairy tale, grim fairy tale, mm -hmm. and uh, paralleling that with Latinx folklore and mythology and so she was very drawn to these Brazilian tales and it's always fantastic to work on new works oh, because great. you have your playwright in the room with you and and it's truly a collaboration and so it's it's a gift it truly is a gift to have our playwrights oh. in the in the room with us and then we get to unfold a story right. together. And it's got to be exciting to sort of lay the groundwork as sort of mm -hmm. some of the first people playing these characters and, and you know being an example for the future generations. And in the last few seconds we have left, tell us what it's been like to make your debut at Arizona Theatre Company. How has Tucson embraced you guys? I have to say I am so excited because I was born and raised in Phoenix. So I'm yeah. an Arizona native and uh, my first time coming back 
professionally in, in 114 years. So <laughs> uh, it's been wonderful. Tucson's great. I yeah. love it. I yeah. love trap. That's what I love most about the work that I do with yeah. live theater and regional theater is being able to come to new communities, new cities. Uh, meet new artists. Yeah. It's just fantastic. Tucson's been amazing. Tucson's I want to so be back. Good. That's good to hear. Well, again, congratulations on bringing these characters to life. Thank, Thank you for you. all the art that you're bringing to Tucson. Thank and you. thanks again for joining us today. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Of course, our pleasure. Now, the River Bride is running through Saturday at the Temple of Music and Art. And for tickets or to learn more, visit ArizonaTheater.org or call 520-622-2823.